right now. I don't think it's gonna sway a whole lot on you, but every now and then you, if you get in a weird position next to a tractor oh, trailer, sometimes it starts to push you a little bit. Okay. So just keep it in the lane and let off the gas. If you feel uncomfortable, it'll straighten itself back out. If you let off, if you get into a position where it starts to sway you really bad, hit that button. That's okay. what that is, a panic red button on oh, the okay. control. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift it up. You'll see the Jeep come up. You see the arms going up, the tension's coming out of the arm. There's a lot of tension on these, so this bar actually allows you to snap them up and down if it if you don't feel comfortable. Is that what they call the persuader? <laughs> yeah, right. It's still pretty tight. You can feel it as you're releasing it. You, you feel that tension. Yep. Just keep jacking it up. Keep it coupler, but jack it up a little bit. Okay. So is this hurting the Jeep by jacking it up? What's that? Is it hurting the Jeep at all to no. jack it up? No, it's just you're raising the suspension in the Jeep. It won't hurt it at all. It's as if you're going over bumps, you know, and the shock's compressing. Right. It won't, okay. it won't hurt it at all. It's just this thing gets really tight. Tight, okay. So there it's pretty loose, see, barely touching. All right. Now I have it on one, two, three, four, the fifth ring okay. from the end, that's where it needs to be. I understand. Now, if it's all the way down, you can't get it on that fifth ring. You have to, I have to, you have to coupler it. it this way to get the right tension on the bars. All right. Take it off. The bar's loose in here, there's a little bit of play. There's a pin, a, a gold pin right here. Just pull this pin. It's a little tight. It'll loosen up when they, the older they get. And then you might have to replace that over time because they wear out. You can get these pieces replaced. All right. And it's taken off. That's it. And that, that pin goes into that slot. And that's goes the into here. Okay. Correct. Now, when you put it back in, slide it in the hole, and you can just push it up. Okay. Move right. it around, make sure it doesn't fall out. Right. And then, one, two, three, four, fifth one. Uh-huh. Make sure the chain hangs down, just use the top of the ring. Right. Hook it on. Hook it on the little hook inside there. See the little notch there? Yep. Take the bar. Put it on. Lift it up. Snaps it in place and put the pin in. Okay. And that's it. And I just do that on both sides? Yeah, repeat the steps on the other side. And step. then um, I would put the sway bar on? Then you can put the sway bar on. And that's that's fairly simple, like you said, it's just the two pin. It makes a little bit of noise. I was test driving it in a lot here. Uh-huh. So you'll hear a little clunk every now and What's then. What's that piece laying there? That I'm gonna put that through your coupler here. Okay. So you know it's latched down. So if you're messing with it, when you coupler it down and jack it up, if it's uncoupled, it's gonna boom, pop right. it off. So we're, I'm gonna put a pin there and that pin will remind you okay. to do that. So it just goes in like that and then you'll see two grooves here and here. Uh -huh. That's it, one. same thing on this side. I know, right? It's scary. But they really work. They do. That's it. And then if it's too tight, sometimes the, the older they get, if you get dirt and stuff in here, uh -huh. it's um, it's like a hard composite plastic inside there, uh -huh. a, like a bushing. Um, they'll squeak, and they'll make noise, and you're gonna want to lube it, but don't because you need that tension to grip. To grip. To to. What this does is is basically an arm between your truck and the trailer, uh -huh. and it doesn't allow. My arm can't bend here, so we so don't want it you sway. Being able to move. You don't want it to to slide real easy. I mean, sometimes these get rusted. You can clean the surfaces up, but uh -huh. don't put any paint or lubricant or anything on them. I can maybe I can stop it a little bit if I tighten it. Like that, tighten it back up. Just they're they're 
made like this, it does it does that. So you hit bumps, you're gonna hear, hear it. and it but clunks really loud. No. You can take it off. If you're not going on the highway right now, I wouldn't even use it. Just on long trips. So that's that's like tight. They say to get it to. I'll show you where. They say to bottom it out. Bottom out the threads. So that's bottom. bottom what do they mean by that? There. That it's coming out the other side of that. Like, um, it, you can't really turn it anymore. Okay. So it's pretty tight there. And then if you need to, they you say to use a quarter right. turn. Okay. All right. And then if that's not enough, go I another quarter. Trying. Yeah, right. Go another quarter. Cover. Don't let the cover off. Now that's pretty tight. So yeah. um, we'll start there. How about that? And All then right. if it's too tight for you, if it starts making a whole bunch of racket, I would just back it off a quarter turn. Or if it start, if you're going down the road and it starts to sway, do another quarter turn tighter. Okay. So now we're up in the air, and you'll see when I lower it. You see the arms start to get tighter. So it gets that bow in it. Right. And what that's doing is torquing. It's taking the weight off of the rear axle and torquing it into the hitch, into the front end of the vehicle, so that you don't get that tail sag. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. As you're going down the road, it's not it's not going to do this anymore when you're driving. But it takes a lot of the weight. Even though it's sagging down, it's just taking a lot of the weight. 